So, what's going on everybody? Tech King Mike. Welcome back to another video. So, you got yourself a MacBook, iMac, M1 Mac, any any Mac product period, right? Now, we all know Apple comes with their own keyboards. They have the Magic Keyboard with the new with the numeric number pad. They also have this standard Magic Keyboard without a number pad. A lot of people like it for its size and its compatibility with Apple products. I personally am a big fan of keyboards with number pads. You also have the Apple trackpad and the Apple Magic Mouse. Now, we all know how the Magic Mouse charges. It's not the best in the world. But that being said, there are some good accessories out there that you can use with your Mac products that, in my opinion, might just be a better value for the money over the standard Apple keyboard and Apple trackpad or Magic Mouse. And in this video, I want to talk to you about them. So what I've got here for you is the Logitech MX Keys for Mac, and I've also got the Logitech MX Master 3S for Mac. So both of these accessories are for Mac only, and we're gonna talk about them in this video, so let's go ahead and get into it. So once again, welcome back everybody. I am Michael Thomas, AKA Tech King Mike, and in this video, we are gonna be talking about my new keyboard and mouse for my 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now, these accessories will also work with any other Mac product that you have. They will also work with the M1 line as well. So if you are looking to get yourself a new keyboard or a new mouse, these are some good products that I think you should take a look into. Now, taking a look at the MX keys for Mac. This particular keyboard, what makes it for Mac? What means it's for Mac? Well, when you first take a look inside at the keyboard and then you look at the box, you see that the box tells you several times that this is specifically for Mac products, AKA you will not find keys that are normally native to a Windows setup on here. You will find only keys that are native to a Mac keyboard. So the same keyboard that you get on your Apple Magic keyboard or that you get on your MacBook or your you know, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, these are the same layout that you will find on this keyboard. The only difference is it's a Logitech brand, which means that you have the ability to use it via Bluetooth or via USB dongle. The keyboard does charge through USB-C and there is a backlight associated with the keyboard, which means that when you move your hand towards it, there's a proximity sensor that will allow the keyboard to recognize that your hands are above it and it will then in turn turn the brightness on. So you have a backlight that is not just permanently on when you're not using it. It's not just draining battery. And I can tell you as somebody who used the Logitech MX keys for both systems, which this keyboard, there's nothing wrong with it. I've given this one to my wife and she now uses it. This particular keyboard, I've only charged this thing since I bought it earlier this year, maybe five times. So the battery on this keyboard is insane. And like I said, they do charge via USB-C. So when you get this color, it's only available in this really nice space gray color. And I really love this color because I feel like it really, really just accents the space gray MacBook Pro that I have. I have the 16 inch baseline MacBook Pro with the Intel Core i7, 512 gigs of RAM with the 16 gigabytes of memory. So I am looking at getting a M1 Mac Mini and I wanted to go ahead and get all the peripherals for it because I just don't travel like that and I prefer to take an iPad with me when I leave versus taking a MacBook with me. But the way that the M1 chips have impressed me so far, I am very curious to see what an M1 16 inch MacBook Pro might look like. Now, taking a look at the MX Master 3. Now, I also had an MX Master 2S mouse. So the MX Master 2S, this is the mouse that I had for quite some time. This is one of my favorite, this is the, my, this is my favorite mouse. I have never used a mouse that was more ergonomic, more comfortable, and more easier to use than with this mouse. And it is just, all the features that you get with this with Logitech options is amazing. And they've stepped it up with the MX3. Now, again, what makes this specifically for Mac? This is tuned and built so that all the accessories and shortcuts that you can access in the Mac OS operating system, this mouse will be able to do it natively without having to be programmed. Same with the keyboard. Now, here's a cool thing about these 
keyboard and mouse that a lot of people don't know about, but I'm gonna tell you, you can also switch these devices to three different items. So I can easily say have my MacBook Pro docked and use the MX keys and the MX Master 3 with my MacBook, also could use it with a Mac Mini, and I could also use it with an iPad Pro, all just by pressing one button on each item in order to change it to the different one. So it's really easy and smooth to use with all Mac accessories, henceforth for Mac. So <laughs> looking around the MX Master 3, you see that you have a nice stainless steel scroll wheel. You have one on the side as well. I like that they made it a little bit different from last year. Instead of having the rubber grip, it's just straight metal and it feels really solid and really premium. Now, both of these will retail for $99 a piece, which is going to be cheaper than a Magic Keyboard and Magic Mouse and Magic Trackpad for your Mac key accessories, so or your Mac computer. So these are my picks for the best keyboard and mouse for Mac when it comes to if you wanna use your Mac MacBook docked or if you have a Mac computer that is stationary. I highly recommend these. I'm going to be setting these up and using these with my computer moving forward. And I'll drop another video on the Logitech Flow because Logitech has this cool thing where you can essentially flow between three devices without having to stop what you're doing. So you can essentially copy and paste something from one computer and move it to another one, which may be really cool because my personal reason for getting a Mac Mini is for stationary video editing and a stationary computer for streams and all those types of things. I like my MacBook Pro because I like being able to pick it up and go, but I love the idea of having a stationary computer that sits on the desk at all times. So that being said, Logitech, MX Master Keys, and the MX Master 3 for the Mac. These are my new keyboard and mouse. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and also drop a comment down below. What do you use with your setup right now? I know a lot of people like to use mechanical keyboards from Keychron and other companies. I might check out a small mechanical keyboard just to give one a try. And if you guys want me to, let me know. I might pick one up. So that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Stay safe. Have a happy new year. I'll catch you guys in the next one.